talk about excitement in the air and uh, action. We've seen it all here tonight. Well, we've got Jules Strongbow in the ring. I don't even know who he's waiting for. Uh, we've had so many <laughs> changes and excitement. And uh, this is St. Patrick's Day. This is the 4th of July, not St. Patrick's boy, Day. Boy, oh boy. Wow. Well, to recap, if you tuned in late, boy, if you did, uh, <laughs> shame on you. We had a main event, second to none, my friends. A six-man tag team, the team of Roddy Piper, Hacksaw Sawyer, Buddy Rose against Rip Oliver, the assassin, Ed Wyskowski, won by Piper, Sawyer, and Rose. He's done it. Next Wednesday night, back for New York, where you're starring on New York television, national television. But I've talked, had a talk with Hacksaw Sawyer, who was supposed to go back to Georgia and appear on the national television. And I've talked to Hack Sawyer into calling that off and staying here in the Northwest for the remainder of the year. Oh. And he has agreed to do so. The first thing he wants is a championship match against Rip Oliver for the Northwest title. And there's going to be plenty of action coming up here. The, the next event will be one fall to a TV time limit. Introducing in this corner 240 pounds from Oklahoma, Doug Summers. His opponent in this corner, 245 pounds from Oklahoma, Indian Jules Strongbow. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the next Tuesday night, we're gonna have a bloody grudge match here, a chain match with both men chained together, but Roddy Piper and Rose says they're gonna second Matt Bourne and see that the the clan does not interfere in this spot in any way, shape, or form. So we ought to have a real wild one here for Tuesday night. Thank you. And you heard it from Don Owen that this Tuesday night, it will be none other than Matt Bourne against Rip the Crippler Oliver in a chain match, which chain means match. they will be chained together. There will be no rules. There will be no disqualification. There will be no time limit. Rowdy Roddy Piper and Buddy Rose will be in Matt Bourne's corner to make sure that there is no interference and this ought to be the match of the year so far Don I thought we, we saw what happened here tonight and Matt Bourne is fit to be tied the man is completely wild and very understandable he took a lot of use in that ring and now the match has been made and boy oh boy what a oh, match we just had a chain match you see what they did to our desk <laughs> oh they just this our desk looks like hamburger <laughs> <laughs> Alpo, help boy, oh boy! I... Wow. Well, anyway, Doug Summers, Jewel Strongbow. Wow. All I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, get your tickets early for Tuesday night. We yeah. have a sellout here tonight, and you can rest assured there'll be one Tuesday night. How about that news? Hacksaw Sawyer gonna be here for the rest of the year. Yes, yeah. the remainder of the year. Hacksaw is back to stay. And you know he had those offers from Georgia and New oh, York. Yes. In fact, uh, Don Owen was saying that uh, he really, he really had to, uh, to do a number and come up with a very nice contract for Hack yes, for him to did. stay here for the rest Don of the year. Don Owen went through great expense. I explained that earlier, you know, and it costs money to sign up these big stars and keep them here, and uh, we have to take our hats off to Mr. Don Owen for another fine job in recruiting. Oh, boy, I'm exhausted from that last match, Don. That was probably one of the wildest matches I have ever seen in my life in all my years in professional wrestling. And a drop kick by the big Indian from Oklahoma sends Doug Summers down. He comes up with an arm drag and keeps the big man from Oklahoma down to the mat. Well, they're both from Oklahoma. I'll tell you, I never saw this crow's nest clear out so fast. I mean, <laughs> cameramen, floor di directors, people, <laughs> oh. man, they were gone. Those cameras were on, were on automatic pilot, I think. <laughs> oh, Summer just popped uh, Jewel Strongbow right in the face with that one. Here comes another one. Look at that. Oh, you can hear it, too. And now Doug Summer oh, he's biting it. in the corner. I don't imagine there is too much time left in this match. Uh, we had some unscheduled 
extracurricular activity. You bet. That you said it right. Extracurricular curricular activity. Man, I'm tongue-tied so far now. I, just so much action, Don, and it's unbelievable. And boy, I'll tell you, this is just the beginning. They'll all be here Tuesday night. You heard the calendar. You heard us run down that uh, calendar board. So when uh, when these guys are coming to your town or anywhere near it, get out there this week, the following week. There is excitement in the air and a little bit more. Oh, you got that right. Yeah, Doug Summers no, no, that punching away at he, Jules Strongbow. He used the fingers on that one. Oh, look at Strongbow on the warpath. There's one. Here comes oh, a hard chop by Strongbow. Woo, right in the ear. And another hard chop across the chest. Tomahawk chop into the ropes. Coming on. Oh, a back body drop. Sends the big man flying across the ring. Drops both knees to the side of the head. That's how you get cauliflower ears, one of the few ways. Or the headbutt and a little low applied by Doug Summers on Jules Strongbow. And now Doug Summers, body slam. The big Indian misses oh. an elbow. And now Strongbow misses an elbow. Did you notice too, he talked, we talked about the class of Roddy Piper. There he was and all this and he still, he was wearing the green trunks and the green knee pads for oh, St. Yeah. Patty's Day. Huh? Very devoted man. Oh man, that guy's I'll something you, else. I, I have, I've always liked Roddy, but I have become one of his greatest fans, especially after tonight. I'm sure he's won the hearts of everybody. Oh, no doubt about it. And he sure has impressed me because I know he has to be in a lot of pain. And he will be in a lot more pain. You can bet on that. Well, he's taking a chance. Yes, he, he is. I mean, you're talking career stuff here. Because that's right. But that's the kind of a person he is. Very devoted, doesn't complain. He is a fighter and he is a winner. He's a fans fighter. He's doing it all for the fans. That's right. And now Strongbow is going to whip Summers into the turnbuckle. Oh, and Summers drives a knee to the side of the head. And a cradle by Jules Strongbow. We could have a fall. We did it. Yeah. And Jules Strongbow wins this last and final match of the evening. And what an evening it's been, Don. And for the folks here at the Portland Sports Arena, it's not over yet. And Jules Strongbow has won. A match over Doug Summers, pretty boy Doug Summers. And we have some interesting, uh, we have something oh, new coming up. We've yes. got a very special interview coming up. So don't you dare go away. We'll, we'll have the... Uh, Hey, there, look, there, I know that Irishman. That's Jack Malcolm. Yeah, that's right. He really is Irish. <laughs> Where were we? We'll be right back right after this. <laughs>